is male. Okay. Uh, what is scarier after shooting uh, Miss Bala? Mexican drug cartels or beauty pageants? <laughs> I can't. It's hard. It's hard. It's a hard to answer. Um, I mean, I, I cannot say anything bad about beauty pageants because then the entirety of Puerto Ricans would be against me. <laughs> it's part of our culture. Okay, well, <laughs> fair enough. They both seem equally terrifying to me. Uh, no, I mean, of course I have my opinions about both, but mm -hmm. I think... Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I think Puerto Ricans like are very proud of their beauty pageants, so I'll, I'll leave that. Drug cartels sure, are scary. Right, like, that's kind of, they're, they're scary. Maybe. Um, so, Lindo, your character is a Mexican American who was deported from California at a young age and ended up as a cartel leader at the border of Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, but I think something I found really interesting about him, uh, I'm not sure other people are getting, is that his name actually. Rhymes with Mondo. <laughs> Lino and Mondo. Yeah, uh, and you you really made you made that stretch. Yeah, I did that. I think it goes. So who goes harder, Sesame Street or uh, or uh, Miss Bala? I mean, I think they go hard in two different ways. I think uh, I was talking about this before that uh, you know what what the, the the work that I was able to do on Sesame Street was something very important and it was something actually very radical and 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 beautiful in introducing certain aspects and of identity and communication and, and and doing what you could with what you had. And I think this character shares a lot of those traits, of course, in a completely different mm -hmm. aspect and context, not <laughs> to marry them both in any type of narrative. But um, it's also a person that is like trying to make do and, and with whatever set of circumstances they mm -hmm. are. So um, they, they both go hard and with <laughs> very different outcomes. <laughs> I'd like to see a crossover one day, maybe. <laughs> Um, I think there's actually been a rise of um, portrayal, like very nuanced portrayals of uh, Mexican cartel members in shows like Mayan, mm. as in Breaking Bad, and Narcos. Um, did you watch anything for inspiration, or did you study up on, on on a character like Lindo? How did you? Lino. Lino. I'm sorry. I'm no sorry. No. I'm sorry. Uh, Lino. <laughs> no, Lindo's I mean, it's pretty. Which yeah. It's fine. <laughs> Lindo, pretty. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why I got confused. No <laughs> um, uh, I I did do research on the actual cartels. Mm -hmm. um, I don't tend to over research certain mm -hmm. characters um, in, in terms of what other people have done. Mm -hmm. uh, just just to give them and myself an opportunity to. Um, organically find them and I think a lot of the nuance comes from trusting that what I how I experience them and how I portray them um, is enough you mm -hmm. know so it, and everybody has every actor has their own process but mine I I try not to because uh, some of those performances are so good that even if, if you watch them they, they they stay on you so I, I didn't do that that side of it all I found like the the relationship between Lino Lino and uh, Gloria is like so um, upsetting, and I think that's because it was so uh, charged. There was a real chemistry and connection between mm -hmm. you two, but you are it is a very weird dynamic. Is yeah. that something you guys talked about, or how do you approach uh, that kind of character who is both holding someone in hostage, but also? having a connection with them. I think the connection that, that people see comes from the fact that they see, that there's a point in the movie that, that you see that they uh, they respect each other and that they know that each other will do whatever it takes mm -hmm. to survive. Mm -hmm. And I think well, we see that in the film and I think that people are identifying themselves with that. And I think that's where our connection comes from because on screen those characters are doing that and Gina Rodriguez and Ismael Cruz Cordova off screen are doing that as well. We're really trying to push uh, and, and be successful and we have a, a mission with what we do and we recognize that in each other and we're very proud of each other and I, um, we respect each other in that sense as well. Well, it was a great performance and uh, I love seeing it. So thank, thank you, you very so much. much.